Believe it or not, we are halfway through 2023 and I want to provide a market update so you know exactly what is happening here in our local area. So our local area makes up Orion Georgetown counties, which is Myrtle Beach and the surrounding areas. And we are also active in Brunswick County, North Carolina, uh, which takes us up from about the state line up until about Wilmington. And so I want to compare where we currently sit at the end of June um, to what June of 2022 look like. Um, there was a, there's been a lot of conversation all over the media and just everyday conversations about what is going to happen with this real estate market now that we are past that big COVID boom that we all experienced. And so I want to provide an update uh, with some context for y'all to consider as you guys seek to understand a little bit more about what is happening here in the Myrtle Beach and surrounding areas. The first data point that I want to share with all of you is the number of homes for sale. So we had 1,985 single family homes for sale at the end of June of 2022. Now fast forward to this year at the end of June of 2023, uh, we had 2,465 homes for sale, which is a 24% increase. Now if I just came on here and said, oh my goodness, we had a 24% increase in inventory, um, we would think that there might be a lot of inventory because that 24% that is a substantial number. However, we still have historically low inventory uh, for what is currently available. So thankfully, we our buyers do have more options now than they did a year ago. Um, however, when you look at the big picture of markets from 2016, 17, 18, 19, um, there are still fewer options. And so good news for buyers is yes, there are about 25% more homes for sale than there were in 2022. But keep in mind, we still have historically low inventory. Now let's take a look at the number of homes sold. So at the end of June of 2022, we had 1,094 homes that sold. Comparing that to June of this year, where we had 962 homes that sold. So it's only a 12% decrease. So yes, you could argue um, that there has been a substantial decrease in the number of homes sold. But when you really break it down, we are about 130 fewer homes sold this year than we were last year. So again, the context is important to know. I am going to wait for housing prices to crash. This is something that we heard all of the last 12 months um, from buyers. And to this point, our data continues to show that we do not expect any type of market crash that is going to cause the uh, median price point to drop. And so in June, 2022, our median price for single family homes was just over $369,000. What does it look like June 2023? $375,000. So it is just a 1.7% increase, but an increase nonetheless. As I have been continuing to give market updates, we have said over and over and over that the, uh, the median price is staying very steady. And so we have a little bit of up and a little bit of down depending on the month. Um, but I think it's great news for everybody to say, um, that the median price has stayed very steady um, with a slight increase. The last data point that I always share is the month supply of inventory. And so again, this is gonna go back to looking at the number of homes for sale. While yes, we had a 24% increase, when you look at the month supply of inventory, it's gonna back up my point that we still have historically low inventory. And so if I were to come on here and say, our month supply of inventory has jumped 47% year over year, that would be pretty alarming that, oh my goodness, are we are people no longer buying homes? But again, let's look at the data. June 2022, our month supply of inventory is 2.1 months. And again, month supply of inventory defined is if no new mark if no new homes hit our market, um, how soon would we be out of inventory? So that's only 2.1 months based on um, how quickly the homes are coming on the market versus how quickly they're selling. So fast forward June, 2023, our month supply of inventory, yes, it's jumped 47%, but it's just at 3.1 month supply, which is still historically very low supply. A good healthy market is usually between four and six months supply of inventory to make sure that buyers have enough options um, to be able to keep prices steady. So again, when we have this lower amount of inventory and we still have homes selling at the rate that we do, we do expect prices to either stay steady or continue to increase. 
So again, just wanting to give everyone uh, an overview of where we sit one year later from where we saw the market begin to shift last year. Um, I think that it is safe to say that we are still in a very active market. We have properties coming on the market and we have properties selling um, and moving off the market. And so these are all great things for people who own real estate here in our local area. If you have any questions about buying or selling property here in the Myrtle Beach and surrounding areas, please reach out to Palms Realty where one of our incredible agents would be happy to support you.